Hey everybody, this is Casey with Merit Tech. I'm working on a Merit Minute with you all today. Uh, today we're going to be going over the M500 gear selection. To start off, we'll pull the key to be, uh, to be safe. That way when you're changing the gears up front, the operator or somebody else doesn't come to start it. Uh, right here on our panel, we have the gear selection, we have the RPM ranges, and blade size is recommended for this. Now this is just a reference. It'll vary from aggregate to aggregate depending on what you're cutting. Again, this is just a reference for your start. Uh, you'll change as according. And we'll walk up to the front right now. And right here at the front, you got your gearbox. And again, this is a brand new saw. So wear your PPE out in the field. It's not gonna look like this one. So we'll put our gloves on right here. And so doing our selection right here to shift from gear to gear, we're, you're either gonna have a blade on it or your blade collar right here. Right here, we're, I'm gonna be moving the blade collar, rocking it back and forth uh, to get it in and out of gear. Right here, we have it in the lock position right here. We're gonna move it up and slide the shift lever over and rock the collar back and forth. drop it back in the lock position on the other side right there for the top one. Bottom one, we'll do the same thing. We'll take it out of the lock position, slide it over to whatever uh, gear you're looking for, whatever RPM range you're looking for, and same thing, and just drop it down to the lock position. Again, this is the M500 series gear selection right here on our gearbox. Medium duty. Uh, any questions, just follow the links below or the contact information that's right below here. This is first gear. This is second gear. This is third gear. This is fourth gear. This is your neutral position right here for the gearbox and blade. Your saw will not roll away. This is not for the differential or wheel motors. This is just straight, strictly for the gearbox.